Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Wow. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. So Deontay Wilder gets his new opponent, and it's Gerald Washington, former football player, boxer. He's with the Al Heyman stable. And I want to give my thoughts. February 25th, it goes down. Also on the card, check out my dude Caleb Plant. He'll be fighting. My dude Jared Swift Hurd is fighting against Tony Harrison. And there's also another fight between Dominic Brazil. It was supposed to be Archer Spilka, but he's fighting this other guy. Um, I think he's African. And he was at this, he was in Vegas this weekend too. So this card just got a whole lot better. Because Deontay Wilder, in case you guys missed it, his initial opponent from Poland tested positive. He had Stanazol in his system, basically an anabolic steroid. So he's out of the picture. He lost the opportunity at a title and a, a good payday, I'm assuming. Probably one of his career best paydays, if not the highest payday. And that was Andre Waworski. And it's seldom in boxing that you see a fight that the replacement fight ends up being better than the initial fight. And to me, this is an example of that, where the replacement is, I actually think it's, it's a better fight than the Andre Wawarski. And like I told you guys, I'm, I'm a fair critic. The Andre Wawarski fight, he's coming off of a layoff. So, you know what I mean? You gotta make sure everything's on the up and up. But Gerald Washington is a, he's a good sized threat. He's athletic, former football player. That's my dude. He he's big too. Like here's a picture of me and him. He he's a big dude. I'm I'm a big dude and he's a big dude. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's it's seldom. I met Wilder too. He's he's also big. Pause. It's seldom that when I do these interviews and go around, like I have to look up to a fighter because a lot of times I'm bigger than these fighters. But these are all big heavyweights, right? Gerald Washington is six foot six inches tall, right? Deontay Wilder is six seven. Andre Wawarski, he's like six four, right? And this is just good stuff, man. I, I really like it. And I think everything kind of comes together. I've interviewed Gerald Washington. The funny thing is, he's actually from the same area code as me, 707. Shout out to Vallejo. Make sure you guys go to JJ Fish. In Vallejo. I could tell you some spots if you guys ever come out here. But um, it's good. It's good to see a, a fellow 7 of 7 get a, a big payday. He's going to have, he's going to be at a deficit in terms of, I don't know how long he's had to train. I don't know if he was preparing, but he's a guy that stays in shape. But namely, fighting in Wilder's backyard of uh, Alabama. He's fighting, I think the fight's in Birmingham. So it, it, the card just got definitely got good. Because they added some fights, like I said, with uh, Caleb Plant, Tony Harrison, and I'm looking forward to it. PBC is going to be on Fox. It's a heavyweight fight. And to me, this is a better heavyweight fight than the initial fight. And I think Gerald Washington, he, you look at his career, he beat Eddie Chambers, who has quick hands. I was at that fight that was on the Berto Ortiz 2 undercard. So he showed what he can do boxing-wise. I thought he looked good boxing versus Amir Mansoor. They said it was like a split draw. Some people were okay with that. I thought Gerald Washington pulled that one out. Amir Mansoor, I think he had spots where he, he kind of came alive, maybe in the second half, I think it was, if off of memory. But I still had Gerald Washington winning that particular fight. I think he did more and he was off to a probably a faster start. And, and Amir Mansoor got cracks. He, he might not look like it based on his size. I mean, he's compact and stocky, but he, he's a big, powerful dude. He knocked down Dominic Brazil, who's like probably Deontay Wilder's height, right? He's a big dude too. So shout out to Deontay Wilder. A lot of people were criticizing him like for fighting the Andre Wawarski. Now, Instead of fighting a guy who was once beaten by Alexander Brand or Alexander Povetkin, he's fighting somebody who's undefeated. So you guys might as well dead all that Al Heyman doesn't put his fighters in tough because to me this is this is a solid fight and it's a it's a difficult fight for for both of them. I mean they're both athletic, they're both tall, and 
like I said, it, it should be a good fight. I might even try to go out there. I've never been to Alabama, but let me know what you guys think. This is the replacement for February 25th. I'm definitely looking forward to this card now, even more so. Anytime you can get heavyweight boxing on network TV, primetime TV, that's always a good look. And they stack the card really well. Again, it's not necessarily the biggest names like Caleb Plant and stuff, but these guys are coming. And I think the Jared Swift Heard, Tony Harrison, these are all really good fights on the card. So let me know what you guys think. I'm looking forward to it. February 25th, it goes down. Shout out to Wilder for taking an even tougher test last minute. You know what I mean? That must show his his confidence. And both Wilder and Gerald Washington, they started boxing late. Gerald Washington was a football player. He didn't really have um, too many fights when he was an amateur. And same thing with Wilder. He was able to get a bronze medal from starting boxing late. So I'm looking forward to this. Credit to the winner. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.